What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are down here. We are at Moon Dam in central Wisconsin. And we're gonna be doing a little fishing video for you guys, seeing if we can get hooked up with some walleyes. Now, last night we were down at De Pere. De Pere, Wisconsin has been hot. That's where we've been pretty much all spring, open water fishing, also going for walleyes. And it has treated us very, very well. There were people all over the shorelines, plenty of boats, and honestly, that's kind of what we got here today. We've got the shorelines filled. We've got plenty of boats behind us. Nick and I are gonna be taking out the yaks today. As you can tell, we've got our new canoe, Frontier 12s with us. We've also got our Pro Series Mystery Tackle Box that we received for the month of April. This is a walleye box. So we've got some awesome baits inside here that we're gonna be throwing around, testing out, seeing if we can get hooked up. We've also got live bait with us today. We're gonna see which one they want more, a little bit more aggressive presentation or good old reliable. So we're gonna go ahead, load up the yaks. Hopefully we get hooked up. We did pretty well down at De Pere last night, did get into a few nice ones, but overall we wanna see if we can do even better. We're looking for numbers. So we're gonna go ahead, get the yaks loaded up, see if we can get hooked up. Let's do this, boom. Alrighty, so just got out here on the water. We're going ahead, we are getting set up right now. So the first thing that I'm pulling out of our mystery tackle box is a jig head. It's an eighth ounce jig head, lime green in color. It's the Road Runner. These ones are made by Blakemore. I've never actually used these before, so I'm pretty excited to try these out. Just to start off, we're going to be using live bait. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my jig head here. We're gonna go ahead and get some minnows on there. We're gonna be casting into a deep hole and hopefully we can jig up some walleyes. So I'm gonna go ahead, get a minnow. Hopefully we get hooked up. That did not take long at all. Very first cast. I'm also starting with that jig head. Doesn't seem like a very big walleye. It's not, I'm just gonna boat flip them. All right. Oh, came on hooks, but as you can tell though, that's also what I'm using, just that green jig head, eighth ounce. Tipping it with a minnow. Not a very big walleye, but. Just a tiny one, but hey, like Brandon said in the beginning, we're just going for numbers and that's the first one of the night. There we go. Second walleye of the day. That one was pretty aggressive, but I think it's about the same size. Oh yeah, same size. Chances are down here though, a lot of these central Wisconsin dams, you're gonna catch a lot of these uh, 12, 13, 14 inches. I mean, this one's definitely smaller than that, but this is about the average size, unfortunately down here. But you do occasionally run into some bigger ones and some uh, slot fish, so. Green jig so far is doing okay. We ended up moving spots from that first place. Now we're just kind of fishing a flat and we're fishing where the current edge is and fish seem to be stacked there. So see if we can get a couple more on the jig and then maybe we'll end up switching to something else in the box. There we go. Got another one. Well, the same spot, right on that edge. It feels just about the same size, maybe a touch bigger, but we'll see, I guess. Maybe a smidge bigger. Just another small male. These fish aren't even milking yet down here. I don't know what the water temp is yet, but probably around that like 38 39 i don't even think it's at 40 yet so these fish got a while you know you basically guys you know for beginners you just find the foam and you cast into it not not really not really but it seems to be the ticket right now but i wouldn't always do that because usually the foam's like right next to the shore or like in the most current like possible oh my god i literally just botched that fish probably stole my minnow too <laughs> absolutely absolutely even though we didn't catch anything giant off of the first jig that we were using i think i'm going to go ahead and retire 
the neon color jig. We're gonna bring out the other jig that we received in our box. We're gonna stick to live bait for right now, just because these fish aren't like crazy aggressive, and we haven't found anything that's you know sizable quite yet uh, to the point where we think it'd be you know good enough to throw an aggressive style plastic. So what we're gonna do is stick to the live bait and use these oddball jigs uh, that we also received in our box. These ones here are made by Mustad. Bait Rigs Tackle Co. So we're gonna go ahead get these on. These ones seem a little bit heavier. I don't see what weight these are, but they're a pretty neat presentation. And for throwing live bait or for throwing plastics, I think they're gonna work really, really good. It keeps the head of the jig down to the bottom of the water and it points the tail of your plastic or your minnow up in the air. I'm gonna go ahead here and show you guys kind of what this jig looks like. It's a very unique design to it. Like I said, this probably here, odd. oh, definitely yeah. odd. Kind of like Nick was talking about. You're gonna get something in this box you've probably never used or never seen before for your average fisherman. So this part down here is going to sit down on bottom and by, let me go ahead and I'll, I'm just gonna put this minnow on here for you. Stick that through. This is kind of a tiny minnow to be showing you guys what I'm talking about. But basically, now this sits down on the bottom and this tail can kick up into the air and as it's going through the current that's going to give it a pretty unique action so i'm going to go ahead here i'm going to throw this in the water i'm going to stand up take my first cast and hopefully get hooked up right away let's see if we can't catch ourselves a walleye all right there we go first one on the white and pink color jig about the same exact size there we go wow look at that eyeball popping out of his head that one normal that one not so much <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go ahead get this unhooked good hooks on him there we go that one came up and just clobbered it yeah, that one kachowed the minnow up oh, and there it goes fell off so i'm gonna need a new one of those but hey got another one here Duh, probably about Definitely nine inches. Big, you know? Oh, really, really big. This is definitely what I like to. Sometimes I throw baits this big, but hey, you know what? It's a walleye. We're fishing up in northern Wisconsin, and we're having a good time. Like we said, it, it's really tough to fight through some of these smaller ones, and it is still early. A lot of times, the bigger ones like to show themselves at night. Is kind of what we've found, but obviously, you can still catch big ones during the day too. So that's why we're here. We're gonna go ahead and get another minnow on. See if we can't catch another one. Oh, it's just a giant, you know? This one was milking a little bit. So, what I got on this one, hey, let go. <laughs> Get a release on them quick. So, <laughs> I switched back to that uh, eighth ounce green, neon green jig head, only because I ended up losing the oddball jig. Not really by choice, you know, it's just a lot of rocks by the dams. So. Put that back on and then i put a plastic on this is actually a little plastic that is inside of the box thought you know we we've caught some nice fish not size wise but we've caught like a lot of fish so far today so figured why not let's just try some other stuff in the box this is a plastic by great lakes plastics never heard of them never seen them before doesn't really say too much about the baits but you know put it on and that was what was that my first cast Second cast? Something I think like a that. second cast. But I've never really seen a plastic like this. Super flimsy tail. It's kind of got it in a diamond at the end there. So when I'm jigging it off the bottom, this must just be really kicking. And uh, that one slammed it. Just a tiny one. It's pretty much all we've been catching today so far. But we came out here to catch fish, and that is exactly what we're doing. Putting these lures to the test and having a good time on this nice, sunny, finally warm day in northern Wisconsin, so can't ask for much more than this. Oh, you know, just hooked up again. <laughs> There's nothing better, guys. I mean, it'd be great, I guess, if they were a little bit bigger, but just sitting cross-legged in a kayak, doing my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, came up and just slapped it. That one was actually immediately, took me another four or five casts to get into one. That one took my minnow but that's all right <laughs> i love catching small walleyes it's they're not big but it's fun for some reason 
It's almost like pan fishing. See you later, buddy. There he goes. Oh, maybe? No? Okay, there he goes. Now I gotta get another minnow and see if we can catch another one. Well, everybody, we just got back to the landing. We've got the yaks put away. We've got the truck all loaded up and we are ready to head home. But today, we wrapped it up all right. We got into a few more fish as the sun started to go down, but still never crossed that mark. We want to get something over 15, so we had a couple keepers to take home. Unfortunately, we did not get over that mark. Obviously, we've been spoiled lately because we've been fishing to pier, which to anybody in the Midwest, anyone around the Wisconsin area for sure knows that it is just the place to be when it comes to catching big walleyes. We are here fishing a local dam and we just wanted to show you guys how great these baits are in these mystery tackle boxes that you guys are definitely gonna have to check out. Uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure to do so. We're gonna leave a link in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Uh, we ended up getting into probably 20, 30 plus fish. Uh, like I said, most of them were all shorts, but it just goes to show that even the small ones are still gonna hit the aggressive baits that you guys will be receiving in those boxes. So go ahead and make sure you guys check them out. Uh, huge shout out to Fox River Lures and Rods again, as always, putting us on some awesome fish, awesome times out on the water every time we go out. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys aren't already. Thank you guys so much. Tight Lines from NB Edits. <laughs>